hey guys what's up how are you all this is your shield today i am back with another important video for all free to play players this video is important for you because in today's video i will talk about pay to win heroes why this video is for free to play why i am talking about pay to win players you will understand soon and you will also realize if you are free to play you can never win this game by only using free to play hero you must have to use some pay to win hero but don't worry guys i will not tell you to spend your money in this video i will never tell that but there are some pay to win heroes which you can get as free to play i will mainly talk about those things okay but before going deep in this video i want to say you something in every generation there are two type of pay to win heroes actually every generation there are three heroes where is my marker by the way i forget this thing every time okay here it is so in every generation we get three heroes the first hero that is a free hero which we can get in the lucky wheel the second hero that is we call easy pay to win hero easy pay to win means we have lot of sources for them we can get them from king of ice field we can get them from svs or fortress or many other events also later you will get the heroes mission there you can get the shards and the third one that is that is the hard pay to win that means the shard is difficult to get you can unlock the hero in hall of heroes event later you can use your general shard to upgrade the hero so i am giving you one example with one generation so suppose i am in generation 3 generation 3 free hero that is the mia so here goes our mia we get our mia here okay our free hero is mia then our easy pay to win hero that is the greg we have the greg here because we can get the shards of greg in different sources there are a lot of sources for greg shard and hard pay to win hero we can call it logan because logan comes in gen 3 and logan is very difficult to get you can unlock the logan in hall of heroes but greg is very easy to unlock greg is also a pay to win hero but you can unlock the greg easily okay here i want to add you something um, in the whole game except natalia you can unlock every hero as free to play you do not need to spend anything you can unlock every hero in this game except natalia okay so this is the first thing in every generation we get three type of heroes uh, one free hero one easy pay to win one hard to pay to win okay there is no official name for this easy pay to win and hard to pay to win so just to recognize them i will call them easy and hard okay just for simplicity of this video i will call it easy hero and hard hero okay that is our first thing and one more thing i want to say before going depth in the video that is in this video i will pick the heroes on the basis of exploration not expedition now you can tell me why because if any hero is strong in exploration it will be automatically strong in expedition but if hero if any hero that is strong in expedition we can never say it will be also strong in exploration okay don't get confused here when you are watching this video please don't get confused i am telling the exploration is that battle where 5v5 heroes are used and expedition is that battle which is open world battle like fortress facility or sunfire castle like this that is open world battle where three versus three heroes are used with our troops that is called expedition and in the exploration five versus five heroes are used so don't get confused and in this video i will pick the heroes on the basis of exploration because in this game most of the expedition skills of most hero they are very good but only some exploration skills in this uh, in this game they are good so our main target is exploration and if we are strong in exploration we will be automatically strong in expedition i will tell you that thing and why i am focusing too much on the exploration i will explain this thing later in this video so in this video mainly i am going to share some idea with every generation which pay to win hero you should focus and this video topic is not very easy because you can tell me that every generation has some easy pay to win hero so we can definitely pick the easy pay to win hero as uh, our other pay to win hero of every generation we cannot do that thing i am making the video for a reason this topic is not that much easy okay so let's jump in our video so we are starting our video with generation 2 generation 1 does not have much thing we can use our molly molly is very good hero but i am not going much details in the generation 1 i will mainly start the video with generation 2 so in generation 2 we get mainly three heroes 
that is here you get the flint that is the free to play hero today i am not talking much about the free to play hero it is the flint lucky wheel hero next we are getting the easy pay to win hero that is called philly and hard pay to win hero that is called alonso now i want to say what hero you should pick in generation 2 your choice should be alonso now why just some moments ago i told you that in this video i will mainly talk about exploration exploration if our exploration is strong we can definitely focus on the expedition alonso has such a skill which is very powerful in the exploration now listen which heroes are strong in exploration the hero with the area of effect area of damage they are extremely powerful in the exploration battle because look at this skill uh, this one area of effect uh, this one okay and also this one trap net trap net and the tidal force both have the area of effect so every hero those has the area of effect skill they can wipe out full escort of the opponent you can you can play any exploration battle yourself and you can check that those hero who are using the area of damage area of effect they can easily clear the whole opponent so we have to focus on the alone so so lot of people ask me the question which hero i will pick in this generation or like that so if your question is about generation 2 i will go for alonso you have to pick the alonso now the problem comes here alonso is a pay to win hero and alonso is a hard pay to win hero so how you can unlock this thing okay it is very difficult i can suggest you hall of heroes go for hall of heroes get the alonso then use the general shot on the alonso but alonso is not your only choice you will understand this thing soon now i am going to generation 3 because i just talked about generation 2 generation 2 we have alonso as our uh, selecting pay to win hero we are selecting this alonso as our pay to win hero now we are in generation 3 in generation 3 we have three heroes the first that is the mia that is a free hero we are not going much details on the mia then we have the logan here we go logan that is the hard pay to win hero and here goes greg greg is the easy pay to win hero now you have realized what is easy pay to win hero what is hard pay to win hero greg comes in sbs uh, leaderboard then king of ice field then you will also get this thing in hero's mission also it comes in the fortress battle so there are a lot of sources for the greg shard that is why this pay to win hero is the easy pay to win hero and i just told you we will pick some hero in every generation so in generation 3 we are picking the greg okay so here is our greg you can see the skills area of effect every hero which has the area of effect you have to pick the hero they are extremely powerful in the arena battle or exploration so you have to pick those heroes you can ch check the skills of the greg greg is really nice now you can see sometimes the our selecting hero and easy pay to win hero they are overlapping okay that is our good sign so in this generation gen 3 we are getting greg that is a easy pay to win hero and we are also picking this greg for our team that is why this generation looks very easy for us but the previous generation generation 2 that was not very easy for us because in this generation alonso was a hard pay to win hero and philly was a easy pay to win hero if i show you the philly where is the philly wait where is the philly here it is if you check the philly there are a lot of sources for the philly you can get this thing in sbs king of ice field and many other events so the generation 2 was very difficult for free to play player and i know free to play player cannot save lot of mythic general shard that is really difficult for them so what i suggest people you can skip the alonso look i'm not telling you to totally avoid the alonso you can unlock him you can upgrade him little bit but do not upgrade your alonso too much you can put your main focus on the greg in the next generation so alonso and greg both are marksman type hero both are such a hero in the arena who has the area of effect skill right so we are not picking alonso because alonso is difficult to get alonso shard is difficult to get, uh, get in this time in this generation we are going for the greg do you understand this part in generation 3 we are getting the greg but in generation 2 we are not getting the alonso so don't rush after wa watching this video and don't pick the alonso watch the video what i am telling here because just some moments ago i told you to pick the alonso now i am telling you don't pick the alonso because alonso is difficult to get right so we are not going for the alonso we are going for the greg i just told you every generation i will give you some suggestion for easy pay to win hero or such a pay to win hero which you can use that is what i am telling right now in this generation 3 we are getting the greg 
now we are going for generation 4 generation 4 we have two option that is reina and ahomos okay i'm not talking about lin lin is a free to play hero i'm not talking about him so which one you should pick ahomos or reina here i suggest you you should go for reina now another problem comes here Ahomos is the easy pay to win hero. You will get the Ahomos shards in everywhere. But Reina is very difficult to get. You cannot get the Reina shards easily. But still you have to do the hard work here. I know it is difficult for free to play player. But you have to do that thing. You have to save your shards and you have to get the Reina. So what is my suggestion? In the generation 4 don't go for Ahomos. Go for Reina. You can use your shards in only one place, either Ahomos or Reina. You cannot get both of them because you are free to play. You have limited amount of shards. So I suggest you go for Reina. Why? Ahomos is very powerful in the expedition battle. Okay. But we will not pick Ahomos because we are mainly focusing on the exploration. Ahomos is very bad in the exploration. You can check the skills. The skills looks good but they are not actually good for free to play. On the other side, Reina is very powerful in the exploration. You can check the skills. Especially this one. Area of damage. This one is very powerful skill. Another one, dodge probability. This is one of the most powerful skill in the game. Reina can dodge lot of attacks in the arena. Okay, so we are going for the Reina. So in generation 4, we are picking Reina. I know this thing is very difficult for uh, free to play players to get Reina, but you have to do this. You have no other choice. Don't go for Ahomos. You can get lot of Ahomos shards in the in the events, but don't upgrade him too much. Okay, he is not very good for the arena or the exploration. And if you are getting confused, don't worry, I will give you a list in the end of the video. Okay, so don't worry, don't panic. So now we are going for Gen 5. In Gen 5, again, we have two options that is Nora and that is Gwen. Now, here comes another problem Gwen and Nora both are powerful, both have the area of effect skill. You can check this one, this skill, area of effect, this one which I am talking right now. It is for the Gwen, and here comes Nora, area of damage. Oh, look area of damage both have area of damage now your question is which hero we should pick because both have the area of damage in this case i can suggest you go for nora go for nora because nora is the easy pay to win hero nora comes in the sbs in the king of ice field in many other events so we can get nora but uh, gwen shard is very difficult to get but in my some videos i can tell you that nora and gwen both are very good if you can go for both of them yeah in some of my videos i told them i know that so i am giving you the option you can either get nora or you can get nora and gwen both okay but i know if uh, if you have limited amount of shards you cannot get both of them i mean you can unlock both of them but you cannot make both of them four star or five star like that so in that case you can only go for nora so in generation five we are going only with the nora okay at this point you can think that in every generation i am picking the easy pay to win hero as our uh, uh, selecting pay to win hero we are selecting that pay to win hero for this video no bro i am not doing that thing in generation 3 we picked greg which is easy pay to win hero in generation 5 we picked nora which is easy pay to win hero but we did not do the same thing in generation 2 and generation 4 okay so don't get confused understand the video properly okay now we are going for gen 6 guys now we are going for gen 6 in gen 6 we have two heroes that is wen and here goes the ooming okay ooming and wen and wen is very easy to upgrade because we can get the wen shards in everywhere at the same time wen is very powerful look at the skills if you check the skills you will see wen has the area of effect skill here is the skill area of effect okay so Owen is very much powerful in the exploration and you will realize Owen is very powerful at the same time in expedition battle. But Ooming is not very much powerful. I mean every hero is powerful but as a free to play Ooming is not very good for you. Ooming also has the area of uh, effect skill you can see here. So why we are not going for Ooming because you will understand Ooming shard is very difficult to get. Very very difficult to get. Like other hard pay twin hero. So, in this case, it is exceptional case. Ooming has the area of effect skill, but we are not going for the Ooming. Okay. So in Gen 6, we should pick Wen as our pay to win hero. Now we are going for Gen 7. Gen 7, we have two heroes. They are Gordon and Edith. Here is the Gordon and here is the Edith. 
here i want to say you should avoid both gordon and edit now you can ask me why why we are avoiding both edit and gordon the reason is the gordon is very difficult to upgrade if you have some shots you can try to make gordon three star but i don't think you can do that because in last generation you have used your shots in the win if you have issue use your shots on the win i don't think you can use your shots again on the gordon because you will have very less number of shots so this is very difficult for you and you can get the edit shot from different sources but edit is not very good for the for the arena okay so we are not going for edit we are not going for gordon this gen 7 is exception we are already using our shots in uh, gen 5 on the nora gen 6 on the win so i think you don't have enough shots for the gordon so you can leave the gordon please unlock the hero but don't upgrade it too much and again if you think you have some shots you can make it two star it is your choice okay so if you are watching right now you can think that in the whole video i just talked to you uh, for the easy pay twin hero i did not focus on the hard pay twin hero because uh, in every generation i talked only easy pay twin hero you should pick only easy pay twin hero like this but no look at the list and understand carefully in the generation 2 i told you to pick alonso but you can clearly see the easy pay twin hero is philly so here is the mismatch you can see now in gen 3 that is our luck our uh, our picking hero is greg and easy pay twin hero that is greg that is our luck we are getting the same hero that is very good thing for us but again in the gen 4 you can see our picking hero is reina but our easy pay twin hero that is uh, ahomos okay so it is the mismatch you can clearly see so this video topic is not that much easy as you think i am not telling only to pick easy pay twin hero for this video I am telling only the hero which you actually need. Again gen 5 was uh, lucky for us because again we are getting Nora as our picking hero and easy pay twin hero that is Nora. Again we are getting lucky because Owen is the picking hero. We are picking Owen in the gen 6 and our easy pay twin hero that is Owen. But gen 7 goes critical for us because our picking hero that is the Gordon and I don't think you can have enough shards to get the Gordon and our easy pay twin hero that is Edith and Edith is not very much good for the exploration okay so this is some draft list you can understand from here now if you are looking at this list you can you can have a big question in your mind how you will manage all of these things because we have limited amount of shards so listen me carefully what I am saying in this video right now gen 2 get both alonso and philly but don't upgrade them too much okay alonso is very good i know in some of my videos i told that you should get alonso but you cannot get both alonso and greg together that is very difficult to manage that much shards so what is my suggestion in gen 2 don't rush for alonso and philly just get them but in gen 3 you should pick greg you definitely should pick greg don't miss the greg okay so we are using some of our shards in the greg in the gen 3 again in gen 4 we are going for the reina but here i am giving you an option just in last generation generation 3 we use the greg we use the shards on the greg so i don't think you have enough shards left so you can skip the reina if you want i'm not telling to skip the hero unlock the hero of course unlock the hero but don't use too much shards on the reina because reina is lancer class hero and in the next generation we are getting nora okay so you can put your strength on the nora so in gen 3 we are focusing on the greg gen 5 we are focusing on the nora okay and again gen 6 we are getting the win we are using our shards on the win and if you do like this you can manage your shards and we just use our shards on, on gen 5 and gen 6 so we have very less number of shards remaining so we cannot do much thing in the gen 7 so in gen 7 we can skip both gordon and edit now listen carefully i am telling again and again skip means unlock the hero okay unlock the hero but don't upgrade it too much skip does not mean totally avoid the hero of course unlock the hero of course unlock the hero but don't upgrade it too much so lot of people ask me the question which hero we should get alonso or greg alonso or greg here i am clearing your doubt go for greg not alonso okay and if you are getting reina don't go for nora if you are skipping reina then go for nora okay that is some difficult choice but you have to do that and by any means don't miss the win 
Oyen is very important hero don't miss that so in the whole video I, I was just talking about the exploration skill exploration skill and exploration skill why I did not mention the expedition skill because our exploration skill can give you victory in arena battle arena battle is so much important because if you are free to play you can get top 50 it is possible look lot of people think uh, free to play player cannot go to this zone okay but i say every time every video if you are free to play you can get here the only secret trick that is you have to use your 10 chance every day we are getting five free chance and five extra chance using our gems you have to use your 10 chance and you have to play the arena match five minutes before the server reset so every day you can get very high rank and you can get huge amount of arena coin so why I am focusing so much on the arena shop because arena shop is, is a such a shop in the whole game that is full with expensive items but they are very good for the free to play look here we are getting the custom mythic hero gear chest now if you own any custom mythic hero gear chest you will be strong for both expedition and exploration look I am showing you something look at this hero this hero right okay this one if I show you anything in this uh, anything here look here we are getting both percentage i mean both stats for expedition and exploration look at the stats just look at the stats carefully if we get the mythic hero gear chest we can get any custom mythic hero gear and the custom mythic hero gear will help us to get stats in both expedition and exploration okay that is our first thing second this arena shop is so powerful you will get lot of valuable items here like the strengthening serum this is one of the most rare item and one of the best item in the game it can help you to upgrade your pet and it is very difficult to collect but in the arena shop you can easily get them and the last thing that is not for free to play but i believe someday as a free to play you can be very strong player that day you need this mithril so the only source of mithril that is the arena shop right now in this game so you should never miss this mithril but uh, listen carefully after making your six heroes powerful after making your six heroes fully covered with mythic gear then go for this mithril in the starting don't get the mithril make your two infantry hero two lancer hero two marksman hero strong fully covered with mythic gear full body then come for this mithril okay so in the whole video i, I was just focusing on the exploration this is the reason from the arena victory you can get lot of arena coins and this shop is one of the most powerful shop in the whole game this shop will give you lot of important items like this custom mythic hero gear chest then strengthening serum then mithril so don't miss them go for them and if you get the custom mythic hero gear you will be strong in both expedition and exploration so you are focusing on the exploration but you are getting direct benefit on the exploration and indirect benefit on the expedition so if you remember in my every stream when people come and ask me bro which hero i should select uh, among these two heroes look i always focus on the arena side i always pick the hero i always suggest a hero on the basis of arena this is the reason this is the reason i always tell people to make yourself strong in the arena so if you are strong in the arena you can get the uh, arena coin and you can indirectly make yourself strong in the expedition battle and again i want to say in this game most of the hero they have good expedition skill but very few heroes have good exploration skill so we can mainly focus on the exploration skill and in this video i am giving you some suggestion but in future you can realize yourself which hero is good for the exploration because you should mainly focus on the area of effect skill because the area of effect skill it can wipe out full enemy alone okay so here the list come again and i am giving you a draft idea from this draft list gen 2 we are not getting alonso and philly gen 3 we should definitely get the greg and make it uh, minimum four star if you can you can gen 4 we are getting reina but you can pick reina then in the next generation you can skip the nora and if you skip the reina then you can get the nora and in gen 6 we are getting the Wen. and in gen 7 we are not getting anything because we are using lot of shards on the nora and Wen. but if you are saving some shards you can use it on the garden that is the simple thing i am telling from this video so you should focus on the exploration because if you focus only on the expedition you can be strong in the expedition but it will not give you other benefit but if you are strong in exploration 
you are getting the arena coin and the arena coin will help you to get strong in both expedition and exploration using the custom mythic hero gear also the strengthening serum and future you can use the mithril if you want and if you are having problem to understand the video topic if you are having if you are getting confused uh, which hero you should pick just look at the list i am giving you the draft list for all free to play players so watch this list and try to understand this thing that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching and bye bye